Hello everyone, welcome to Small Group. We have been engaged in a series at church called The Second Coming of Christ. This most recent topic was entitled, There's a New World Coming. The message itself kind of had three, lever, three levels to it based on a certain proposition, namely that a dream is a powerful thing. A dream is a powerful thing. We started out by illustrating how dreams and the lives of people in our American culture were, were used by God to come together and bring about the uh, primary way that music is done in church today and how churches in America can have a contemporary feel based on something that happened in the 1970s. I encourage you to get that CD from Ryan if you missed that story. So first of all, the first level is that dreams are a powerful thing in a cultural sense. Second thing is this, that as we look at the history of the world, dreams have been a powerful thing in the global sense. The scriptures in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 2, and also Revelation chapter 19 through 21, have been the basis for mankind's dream, even, if, even among those who don't believe in God or believe in Jesus, mankind's dream of a utopia, of a perfect world, where there would at last be peace and evil would be put down. On the unfortunate side of that, it has often been the motivation, this dream of a perfect world, to justify some very bad things. We know scripturally that it will justify the rise of an antichrist, the rise of world government, global currency, and an attempt to control things by force on a global scale. If we read Revelation 19, 19 through 21, we see that it is actually this situation that will come to a head at the time when Jesus returns. When he returns, he will finally put down the pride of mankind and he will bring himself this utopia, this perfect world. There will be peace on earth, goodwill toward men, because he will come. And so God will fulfill this dream of mankind, of a perfect world, his way and in his time. Finally, we talked about how dreams are a powerful thing on a personal level. The question being, do you have a dream in your heart that you believe came from God and that has been dormant in, in your consciousness? If so... We encourage you to bring that before the Lord and ask Him if it might not be time to see how that might come true, not just for your sake, but, the, but also the sake of others that would be affected by your dreams that God has given you. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this most recent message. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great small group. God bless you.